recommend this. We are on our way to Maine. Um, we're cutting our trip a little bit early. It's all done and the best instructor. Is this right? No, like that. Oh, it's so like this. Grace Nickerson. imagine a better way to wrap up our Outer Banks trip on Kitty Hawk than at that competition with a friend that we haven't seen in years. It, it was just very, very interesting. I feel like it tied it all together in a way that we could have never have planned and that happens pretty regularly in our travels. It's been amazing as we've yeah. like looked back over the last four and a half years of all the situations. So best possible scenario for how we wrap up our trip in the Outer Banks. We are heading out today we really, really recommend this. If you are on the East Coast, what an amazing vacation or some way to be able to get out without spending a million dollars on yeah, gas. If you're looking for an adventure that's close to home, I can tell you the Outer Banks has it, um, especially Ocracoke. Like, yes. The simple island life is just, it's awesome. Absolutely amazing. So we are on our way to Maine. Um, we're cutting our trip a little bit early because the way the licensing process works in the state of Maine is that they give you a random date. It's kind of a lottery and we've gotten Lily's date back and so we need to get back a little earlier than we thought. So we're going to cut the Virginia portion of our trip a little short unfortunately. So I was stationed in Virginia Beach so we're actually just about to drive right through it. We had some things planned but we're going to have to cut it short or we'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, but right now the next thing we're doing is we are going to do the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. So I've done it a bunch of times. We did it in a moving truck, you know, way, <laughs> way back. A long time ago. It'll be interesting. We've never done it in the RV. Thank you very much. So there's two of these tunnels on this bridge. This bridge is 17 miles long. We used to take it all the time. This was like a cool thing for me to see because this is the way my ship came back into port when we were out to sea. So we'd come, you know, from out to sea. When we saw this, we were like, oh, we're so close. You know, we're so close to being home. Always exciting. This is, uh, oh gosh, it's gonna shut off on me. That was not sped up, that was real time. Mission for the day complete, Outer Banks to Maine. Time for bed. Awesome. 
All right, so we're at our good friends Jeff and Katie's house. They are just so awesome that they give it to us whenever we come here. So we end up coming here at least once a year, it seems like. But the main reason that we came to Maine was to get Lily's license, and she got it. She um, sure did. We are so proud of her. Hi. <laughs> so much fun. We just have a little support group going on out here. How'd we do? I see smiles. But I got it. Good job, baby. Congratulations. Nice. <laughs> How do you feel, Lily? Like better than I have since last time we were in Maine. <laughs> this whole time, all she's been thinking about is getting her license, so she hasn't been able to focus on anything no. else. Now you can actually enjoy. We're I, home, Lily. I can enjoy food. <laughs> well it's, done. It's all done, and I am the best instructor. Ever. Awesome. Awesome. Well done, honey. So proud of you. Another reason why we were coming back to Maine was to be able to celebrate our niece's graduation from high school. Again, it's one of our most favorite things is being able to come and celebrate these milestones of family members that now live across the United States. The girls were so excited to be there with their cousin for this really, really special event. And yet another reason why it's important for us to come back to Maine at least once a year is that we are getting all of our appointments taken care of. So this is when we come home and do our doctor's appointments, our dentist appointments, eye appointments, all of that kind of stuff. We get this question asked all the time, like how do you guys take care of that on the road? And the answer is those major like yearly appointments, we just schedule them. We mm -hmm. know when we're gonna come home to Maine and we get that scheduled and then we're all set. Obviously, if an emergency happens on the road, you just deal with it on the road. That's only ever happened to us once. Um, as reckless as we seem, we're not, <laughs> we're not that reckless. So the one issue that we ever had was like our very first year, was it back in 2018? she got a UTI. As emergency, far as emergency goes, yeah. it wasn't that bad, except that we were I at mean, the it ranch. Was bad, it was bad, but it could have been worse. The issue was that we were at the ranch and we were about two hours away from any doctor's office that was open. Um, so it was a little bit of a scramble to get out of there. But again, it's just one of those things that you just have to stay calm, figure it out and take care of it. And thank God nothing else has, nothing else has come up. Yep. So we typically don't actually film when we come back home. This is like what she just said to take care of business and to spend time with family and friends but we did film a little bit <laughs> uh just because i love boats and my dad just got a new boat this has got a little a dinette i know right this is cool My brother's got a boat, so we were able to get out on the lake and spend some time on Big Sebago. So Big Sebago is the lake that got us dreaming about this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So it was awesome to just be on the lake and just, just spend time with the cousins, the nieces, the nephews. Mm -hmm. So that's really what we've been doing. Okay, so here we are at a major milestone in Lily's life and my life. <laughs> Our life. Lily, <laughs> Lily got her license. She just got her license, and this is her first drive alone. Solo trip. And that's why it's a major milestone for me because I'm I'm letting her out into the wild, and this has never happened before, other than on a bike. <laughs> you can still see me. <laughs> this is a, this is a big deal, uh, and it's the culmination really of our our trip to Maine. Why we came to Maine. Um, it was to get Lily's license accomplished. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm nervous. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not nervous. We're here. She's going. Congratulations, Lily. All right, we haven't actually explained it, but this is my mother's car. Um, it just seemed like a little bit easier to drive for her permit. Her for her, her license than this big thing. <laughs> so, Just a little. She's good at driving that. She's really good is. at driving it, but. The fact that she's okay with her driving that shows what an awesome driver I'm a little upset that she's driving that for the first 
time and not the truck. But my father needs it to go get my grandmother at the at her house. So. Hello. Oh my gosh. Wow. Holy Moses. It's a big deal. <laughs> That's a big deal. Okay. All right, as you can tell, uh, we're still being plagued with some issues with some of our audio clips. Uh, I am grateful that that one you can at least hear a little bit because all the other ones you couldn't hear anything mm -hmm. and that one was personally just very important nothing to do with the vlog that was just an important <laughs> moment of time so I'm just grateful that that one at least is hearable yes I know it's really annoying and I think there's actually programs that can take that out I'm just not using the right programs now I am still using iMovie since we were so far behind, I didn't even bother trying to learn a new program. So since the beginning, we've just been on iMovie and uh, I think it's time to change. It's I'm time, gonna, time for a change. I think I'm gonna switch over to Final Cut. But again, we're just grateful that that piece was usable. Um, I really wanted to remember that and it was it was just a, it was a special moment so really really good memory and along the same lines at the very end of our time in Maine Layla finished up her driver's ed course and got her permit hello oh my goodness there it is, there it is. <gasps> you are a permanent driver yep congratulations honey well done, that was a lot of work. We officially have two drivers in the house right now and everything that we went to Maine to accomplish got accomplished, so that was amazing. So yeah, this is, that's not Maine. This is out west and we're gonna get to that in a, in a little bit, but um, we really got- Really excited to share yeah. where we are headed for the rest of the summer. It's, it's coming, guys. All right, so one other bonus of coming back to Maine and the timing worked out perfect was my brother's shop, 320 Inc., was printing our It's Better Outside shirts. So we were able to go and, and do the entire process beginning to end. So I don't know if it's as fascinating to you as it is to me about the entire process of screen printing. So there's quite a bit. There's a lot of different screens. Each color gets a different screen. And I'm gonna just start roughly, quick from the beginning, what are the stages of making a screen and, and all the way through the process. So first you start with a screen, it's a mesh. You print what you want on it and then it goes into a UV light and that the stuff that is not printed on hardens and then you simply rinse away what was printed that's what allows the ink to go through that section of the screen and not the rest of it all right so if that made any sense <laughs> um, all the different stages each different color gets a different screen so it is a long long, it's a long process, process if you have multiple colors in your logo which we do and my brother's got multiple big presses I mean he's got huge equipment it's fascinating to watch it's fascinating to be a part of and I've always enjoyed it my brother's had this company for the past 12 15 years but when you're seeing your own shirts being printed on it it's a it's a whole different experience it's unbelievable especially for lily to sit there and watch something that she designed get printed out onto something that we're going to walk around and wear it was just it was really special for her and then as parents it was just a really proud moment to see her be able to experience that it was awesome so along the process of you know the screens getting the ink onto it then like how does it not stay sticky it has to be cured again and that's where my brother's company name comes from 320 ink stands for 320 degrees it takes 320 degrees to cure the ink on the shirt so it's it's there forever we've actually gotten a lot of questions about that so if you were wondering what 320 means on different shirts and things that we wear all the time that's what it means yes he's also got all sorts of cool stuff <laughs> uh, he's got these cool little you know shirt folders I'm sure you've seen Lily does a really good job but he just bought an automatic shirt folder and I didn't even know the thing existed this thing and it, is awesome. it's pretty magical <laughs> it's really really cool I think the coolest part for us in being able to be there for this process was that we got to see all of your names come through for everyone who had made a purchase of the shirts for it's better outside and Layla and I were the ones that packaged every single one of your orders and shipped them out and it was just so amazing to see where all these were going all across the country some to other countries 
days. And we're just so grateful for all of you that ordered and are sharing our message that it's better outside. And at this point, it's been awesome to see all the photos that you guys have sent in about, you know, all the places that the shirts have been already. So it's amazing. It's, it's pretty special. Thank you so much. Uh, and one of our FOS crew members was able to stop by literally hot off the presses, <laughs> grab one of the shirts. We didn't even have to ship it. They just stopped by and grabbed it right that was at the shop. Amazing. They were camping 15 minutes from the shop what and they the were odds? the very, very first people to get their shirts. It was awesome. Okay. We've been getting tons of questions and emails about when the store is going to be open again. Our store will be open again in the fall, right before Thanksgiving. So we just want to make sure that you guys have all of your orders before Christmas. We're so excited to be offering sweatshirts and long sleeve shirts and hats this year. A ton of you have begged for long sleeve shirts so we hear you and we're gonna be making sure that those are available this year and Lily is actually making a couple revisions as well for this run so be looking out for that announcement on YouTube and on all of our social media pages another good thing to do when you're home is go to a trusted mechanic mm. so we went to my diesel mechanic that we've known for years and years and years to get some some stuff taken care of we had a check engine light it was the EGR bypass valve so it wasn't it's was just emissions relating it wasn't it didn't hinder the truck at all but we wanted to get that taken care of so right. while we were there got it taken care of um, and while they were in there they saw a crack in our downpipe so the crack was actually causing it to just slightly smoke uh, when it was in regen which is uh, what diesel trucks do to clean out its exhaust system uh, kind of a long complicated unnecessarily <laughs> complicated system um, but we, we got that taken care of unfortunately they did not have any of the OEM downpipes so we just put uh, an aftermarket a really nice aftermarket one on and I'm sure you saw in our intro that uh, our truck was smoking like crazy that wasn't from the crack that was actually after we put the new part on um, there were some discrepancies on the install manual whether to put the OEM donut gasket back in. The other manufacturer said no, clearly it was supposed to go in there. Clearly. So it made it look really bad, but it wasn't <laughs> as bad as it seems. It was crazy. Like it, it felt like the truck was on fire. We it all was, like got up. It was filling in through in through the whole like heating system. It's uh, it's a little we embarrassing to drive through <laughs> town and just billowing out smoke out of your truck that you think is, you know, your pride and joy, but no, it's not. All right, so that brings up another point um, as far as advice goes for getting work done. Make sure when you go someplace or you have work done that you give yourself plenty of time after the fact mm -hmm. to drive it around, no matter what the work is, to, to feel it out and just examine it really good because that problem didn't actually come as soon as we picked up the truck. It wasn't until it went back into regen. That's right. So we had time to fix it easily without getting you know a thousand miles down the Ugh. road and have someone that you don't even know try to work on it exactly because stuff happens like things go wrong yeah, there's different happen. parts accidents happen and even if you have to change your plans or extend your stay somewhere it is always going to be worth it so always give yourself that amount of time try to plan mechanic things that you're trying to take care of when you have enough time to be able to get the work done and test it afterwards all that to say Give yourself some time after you have any kind of work done on your RV or your vehicle. Give yourself time to check it over and make sure nothing is wrong. In next week's episode, we are starting our journey out west and we have a major issue on the road that we have never experienced before. Yeah, not fun. <laughs> but we're here, so obviously we've made it. <laughs> we want to know what are your favorite underrated national and state parks um, and leave it in the comments we, we really want to know because we want to go to these places and we i've always kind of said that i would never say this but we get so many comments people are like oh i didn't even realize i wasn't subscribed to you i've just been watching your video so if you don't mind can you check to see if you're subscribed because it really helps us out absolutely we are so excited to share all of our journey for the rest of the summer and we'll see you next week